back to Four Sides TV with me, Esma. Polyurethane, a widely used material found in various products like phone cases and trainers, possesses significant challenges in recycling and often ends up in landfills. However, researchers have developed an innovative solution that seems straight out of science fiction a self destructing plastic infused with spores of plastic eating bacteria. This breakthrough holds promise for addressing plastic pollution by providing a biodegradable alternative to conventional plastics. Here's a special story from Foresight's TV. The new plastic incorporates spores of plastic eating bacteria that remain dormant during the plastic's useful lifetime but activate when exposed to nutrients in compost, initiating the degradation process. Additionally, the presence of these spores enhances the plastic's toughness, extending its lifespan. Co researcher John Porosky highlights the dual benefits of the innovation increased durability during use and environmentally friendly disposal at the end of its life cycle. The plastic currently in the laboratory development phase could potentially potentially reach the market within a few years with collaboration from manufacturers. The key bacterium used in this process is Bacillus subtilis, genetically engineered to withstand the high temperatures required for plastic manufacturing. While this approach offers a promising solution to plastic pollution, some experts advocate for reducing plastic usage altogether. Global efforts such as the recent UN talks for a future plastics treaty aim to address plastic pollution through legally binding cuts in plastic production. Professor Steve Fletcher emphasizes the importance of caution with such solutions as they might inadvertently reduce concern about plastic pollution despite the majority of plastics not readily degrading in the environment. <music> The development of self-destructing plastic infused with plastic eating bacteria marks a significant step forward in addressing plastic pollution. This innovative solution offers a potential alternative to conventional plastics combining durability during use with biodegradability at the end of its life cycle. However, caution is warranted, as efforts to reduce plastic pollution should not solely rely on biodegradable alternatives, but also encompass broader initiatives to minimize plastic usage and implement global agreements for plastic reduction. <music> That's all for today. Thanks for watching Four Sides TV with me, Isma.